Here, you can do what I did, teach your kids to swim in the Harold Holt Memorial Pool. <laughs> the guy fucking drowned and we named a swimming pool after him. A swimming pool, no trace of irony. It's like, no, that's a good idea. What was the council on when they went, yeah, do that. <laughs> Let's name it after Harold. That's a fucking piss up. <laughs> what did they think? There'd be kids in the pool going, if he could have done this, he'd be here now. <laughs> Seriously, we put a lot of shit on the Americans. Why not? Have a look at them. But we put a lot of shit on the Americans. You could tour the length and breadth of the United States. You would not find the John F. Kennedy gun range. Old coup to old. That's what you don't want to be. You don't want to be that, and I know all about them. I live in a nest of them. <laughs> old coots everywhere. So I've got time, and God knows they have. So I fuck with them. I'm, do I'm doing it right now. Because before I came here, I put my bin out. Saturday, it's not been nine. <laughs> Only if you live among old coots do you understand what I'm saying because in the world of the old coot, the worst thing you can possibly do is miss the bin person. <laughs> if you miss the garbage pickup, I don't know what happens. It's like if you don't put your seat back up right, the whole plane crashes. We don't know, we never do it. You can't miss the garbage night. Old coots will get their bins out two days early. Put them out! Put them out in the morning, two days early, we can't miss it! What happens to the garbage over the next two days? Put line it up in the hall. The important thing is our bin is out. We haven't missed it. So when it isn't garbage night, I put my fucking bin out. They're like, oh no, we missed it, fuck! Sometimes if it's a one bin night, I put the other bin out. Chaos throughout the street. Is it? I don't know. I can't believe the evidence of my eyes. It shouldn't be, but there's bins out. What if we missed it? I don't understand what's going on. The world makes no sense. So I know what else you're thinking now. You're going, well, that's nice, Richard, but uh, that would say to me, in that kind of relationship, when you with plenty of time, that the sex is 24-7. Sure. Yeah, that is the nature of a long-term relationship. That is... You can't see their little faces. They're like, really? Because we've heard stories. No. <laughs> uh, no, it's, uh, it's a bloody festival. It's, uh, it's... No, of course it isn't 24-7. It'd be ridiculous. You'd be worn to a nub. <laughs> Gust of wind would knock you over. A cat would glory you and take you off. No. But it's occasional. <laughs> and that's, I think, the point I want to make to you. It's going to happen at some point. <laughs> so you need to be ready. <laughs> so you don't know when it's going to happen, obviously. Uh, you don't know why it's even happening. You just, you're just going, oh my God, it's happening. So don't, don't fuck it up. Don't be the one who, when it's on, goes, no, I'm a bit too pissed. No, never be that pissed. Oh, I've got a bit of a headache. Who gives a fuck? Work through pain. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Baby, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You, you've got a nail through your big toe. Yep. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Take my mind off it. <laughs> Might improve it. It could be our thing. Uh, don't worry about it. Be ready. Be ready. All times. Because you don't know why it's happening. If you knew why it was happening, you'd make it happen more often. But you don't. Uh, you, all you know is you went up the big faraway tree and you're in root land. You don't... <laughs> you and half a dozen little English kids in ridiculously tight shorts are up there with you and Algie said, I think we're in Rootland. I know you're going, I think we are too. You're in Rootland. You don't know why. You've got to be ready for Rootland. Otherwise, next time you go up the tree, there's Dame Slap-a-Lot. Rootland's long gone. <laughs> Always be ready. That's my point. Sometimes, obviously, uh, you can be too ready. I think about stuff a little too much, get wound up. Sometimes, you know, you're a bit too ready. It's late at night, you're sound asleep. You're in bed, asleep, having dreams. You know, you're popular, you're good at things. <laughs> dreams. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you feel a touch on the foot. <laughs> Bang, you're wide awake. Because it's on. You don't actually move if you know what you're doing. You just stay still, because if you move, you might fuck it up. You don't know why it's on, you just know it's on. You're asleep, suddenly it's on. Don't fuck that up. 
don't do something that'll put everyone off. Just lie there. But internally, there's klaxons going off. Uh, uh, not a drill. Not a drill. <laughs> in my mind, there's a whole lot of people who look like me in different uniforms, denoting their sections, all running, <laughs> tossing away card games, rolling out of bunks, running, uh, uh, sliding down poles, getting in position. Brace, brace, brace. <laughs> Don't waste that moment. This is a critical time. A lot of amateurs, they waste this moment. You just lie there. You just lie there. You take deep breaths. Oxygenate the system. Get ready. Get ready. Flex the big muscle groups. Trying to get some blood in there. Just come on. Flex them up. Warm them up. Go into the room of mirrors. Be critical of your last few outings. Have a look at it. Where could you improve? Where's the 1%? Maybe switch the running order up. Just, you know, play with it in your head. Be positive. Think to yourself, this time, this time you're going to stick the dismount. Just. <laughs>